Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw a beetle. Um, just to kind of give you a, a kind of a vague idea, I'm gonna draw my favorite beetle. Uh, but there's a bunch of different, you know, there's like hundreds, right? What isn't it like a thousands or something types of beetle? Uh, you know, so we're just gonna go over one, which is my the rhino beetle, which is like my favorite kind. Uh, just to get an idea of like the generic beetle, the generic beetle, just a few of the 101 has uh, kind of like any bug has a three. Let me see, can you see that? Has a uh, kind of three sections. There's the head, there's the thorax, which is that middle section really. And then there's the abdomen, I believe they call it. The back part of the beetle. Kind of splits into two with the wings. Uh the rhino beetle's kind of a little bit more compressed. And then there's also uh three sets. three sets of uh, legs tends to be three sets of legs and then uh, you know and then there's antennae you know the ones on the front but it tends to be three sets of legs on the side you know any which way but um, let's get into the 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 rhino beetle because I really love that thing and I'm gonna draw from the side view uh, he's a little bit his head and uh, it's his head basically, like with these parts, his head and uh, head and thorax are kind of covered by this kind of armored layer on top of him. Whoops, my pencil broke. Alright, let's sharpen that there. And, uh, you know, kind of his head's over here. And then he's got the thorax underneath that, but that's going to be covered by this armor. And then he's going to have this back section. Obviously, what I just said, the abdomen section. But um, the overall sweep is going to be kind of that horn. You know what I mean? You see this a lot like in concept art, and you see this a lot in um, kind of different things that are inspired by this thing. You know, this thing in nature that really does inspire a lot of concept art, I've noticed. Bring the legs out from underneath. Front ones over here. In the back. We'll kind of go over those in a bit in terms of the shape. So, right off the bat, I want to get my kind of horn shape, the bottom one. I want the bottom one to be, it looks kind of like a lobster claw. So I'm going to actually draw that in there, the line, first. And I'm going to put maybe like a split in it, like a split in that front horn. That looks pretty cool. I guess it's pretty obvious what the rhino beetle is named after. Um, I think it has to do with, I forget the, actually the term rhino, not even just the animal, it's something else, but I ah, can't remember. Like rhinoplasty means kind of nose. Something to do with the nose. Throw the an eyeball there. I want him to kind of have a little bit of character. You know, in real life you can't see it all that well, but I want to little cartoon format. I want there to be. I want there to be that. See this little antenna at the front. Looks like little arms. And the way I like to think of bug antennas and bug arms, and I'm gonna do a whole other video on just bugs in general. You know, but for now we're going over this guy. I think it's cool. Is uh, I like to think of their of their legs and appendages as like uh, bendy straws. If you ever see those, kind of reminds me of that because they have exoskeletons, meaning their skeletons on the outside, as opposed to us. Our skeleton is on the inside, and we're squishy on the outside. These guys are squishy on the inside. Going up here to the horn. Wham! You can make that thing any which way you want on the kind of the rhino beetle. Something like that. Put 
down. Casing this. Remember, I'm casing the thorax. It's weird too. Um, I, I never. I mean, I guess I did find the importance of drawing bugs. Obviously, because bugs are cool, and like I said, they're in all kinds of stuff. But uh, I didn't really draw a lot of bugs when I got when I was younger. I should have. Uh, remember, the back is split because it's. Because there, there are wings underneath that. Making room for that arm there. One of those little legs. And I'm remembering that bendy straw. Or if you've ever eaten, um, if you've ever eaten like crab legs, you know what I mean? They kind of just remember that shape, you know what I mean? You can kind of remember the bendiness with, between each joint. that arm actually is even too long too big and too long I might shorten that up we're actually gonna shade this thing as well so I'm kinda drawing kinda loose down here one of his hind legs And uh, especially if you draw from like a photo, always notice the the shape that the legs make. It kind of it looks like they're, they're it's a little counterintuitive. You know what I mean? You think it would bend one way, but in reality, it bends the other. And in some ways, it doesn't really really matter. I don't know how to say that. It doesn't super matter which way you do it because because um, they do kind of go both ways, you know. So it's not a really big deal. So I got my general impression of uh, this bug. Uh, I might actually make this a little bit thicker. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start shading this bug. So the bug's going to be black. And I'm going to use the side of my pencil over here to shade on, my, on the side. I'm thinking of this as kind of a cone. I have to think about this as a simple shape, kind of like I'm drawing anything. You know, I told you in another video, when I'm drawing anything, I'm thinking of the simple shapes, always. Going with the side of my pencil here, and I haven't really begun to push the darks too much yet. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go to his underside because the sun would be from above, and I'm going to start bringing up the dark shapes kind of to ground the image to begin with. I probably should have done it before I did that. Down over here. Continuing to also treat this as a simple shape. But I have to go in more with my pencil because it is a smaller shape.
Sorry, I'm being a little bit quiet right now. Sorry. I guess I'm kind of concentrating. When you're doing these shapes, try to keep conscious of how these things look like in three dimensions. You know, and always keep in that in mind, you know, that these things are in front of you kind of like what would you how would you see this in your mind's eye, you know? How would you try to convince somebody that this is a three dimensional object? But just kind of think about that. Even if it doesn't turn out like that in the end, try to keep that in mind. And that will kind of help guide you a little bit instinctively. That's how you kind of build instinct uh, through the experience of trial and error. So while I'm doing this, uh, Please uh, comment below and tell me what else you want me to draw uh, outside of you know the usual characters and things like that. I'm trying to build the database here by you know how to draw stuff. Like like right now I'm going to go over bugs probably the next couple of days. Uh, I want to go into cars. I want to go into you know anything you want to draw, want to be able to draw. I kind of want to teach you how to do it. You know what I mean? So. Please let me know in the comments below what is it like a simple thing. Remember, we're already doing superheroes, we're already doing stuff like that. You know what I mean? I want to know more just simple stuff. A dog. Dog would be a good one, right? Uh, I want to do close in motion. You know what I mean? Uh, I started a close one. I'm going to continue that one. more about the more going over the basics uh, yeah there's a lot to do so as I'm doing this shadow I'm kinda of leaving this light rim this kinda of rim light to show that it's kinda of reflecting a little bit and it kinda of makes it look a little bit more like it's a black surface and it's actually a good tool to shade by the way like a good like if you really learn uh, oh yeah, shading, that's another video. Like if you want to practice on an object, uh, Beetle would be great. You know, it's cool. It has a good form to it. People will do, I've seen a lot of 3D Beetles that they practice on, practice their 3D. And I'm going back and forth between the side of the pencil here and the tip of the pencil. Keeping it directional. Pulling out some darks toward the bottom. Again, like I said, that's to keep it grounded. Going to the back of the beetle here. Going back with the side of my pencil. Pushing the darks here. Really dark. Keep in mind these are split in two in the back here. And actually, 
Like I said, there's a lot of just really, really simple shapes here with this particular bug. Push that's a little bit darker. Pushing things a little bit darker, trying to make it seem like this is a black colored bug. Let's go into the legs, I'm thinking of them as simple little cylinders. Again, thinking of that crazy straw. Throwing a slight shadow pattern on these guys as well, just kind of like in the lower bits. Same thing here. This foot on the other side, I'm just gonna throwing it in there to make it look like it's in the background. I'm not even really drawing it in, I'm just throwing in a light shadow. And I'm gonna do maybe the same thing for the other side over here. Just throwing in there, see, light shadow. I'm not actually drawing in the leg. That's kind of a way of cheating it in there. And I'm just going to look at it right now, and I'm going to probably um, make things a little bit darker. Try to like push down hard on that. And like I said, the dark gives it contrast. And contrast is good, usually. So, like I said, through the whole thing, I've just been thinking of this as a simple shape. You know, there's simple shapes all over it. Like, I see a curved cone, and I see, a, like, a split ball on the back, you know? It's pretty, pretty simple. Pretty, uh... <laughs> I know what you mean. It's not easy. It's, it's easy with practice, you know what I mean? I, I don't draw bugs a lot, but I, you know, it, it is once you master just, like, the basics, like, simple form, that kind of thing... It's it's not hard. It's not very hard at all. Like especially with like this the big masses of this. So I remember this kind of thing. Let's go over it really quick. The head, the thorax, and then the abdomen. Abdomen is usually split in two for the for a beetle. Uh, this guy has this big chunk of armor over him, which kind of merges his head and uh, thorax. The legs. Think of the legs as bendy straws. Uh, they kind of just bend. Um, maybe one, two, three, four. Kind of four joints, I forget. Ding, ding, ding. Three legs. It, it's kind of weird on the joints on the legs. Sometimes it looks like they only have one. I, I usually tend to think of them as like kind of split in two. And then the rest is kind of wiggly. It can be kind of anything. Especially the front legs. Um, so I don't know if there's a definitive answer on that. I know, I know there is on Wikipedia, but I haven't checked it out. <laughs> And I'm throwing a, a thicker line around it. And basically the pencil I'm using, uh, this is basically a colored pencil, but uh, just a black colored pencil, honestly. That's, that's, let me put the antler on, antenna, whatever, on the other side. Um, basically this is like a black colored pencil. 
I can tell you what kind it is. It's a Nero Medium I bought at the art store. Uh, but yeah, essentially you can use a black colored pencil and get like the exact same result. Uh, just kind of practice. I'm going to go over a shading video very soon. So like I said, please request uh, maybe some subjects that you want to go over. I'm going to probably go over bugs in the next couple of videos. We'll see. Probably go over the spider, things like that. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, please, uh, you know, please uh, say hi. <laughs> see ya.